Hey everybody, hope you're doing great. I think many of you know that one of my areas of, so, uh, sort of one of the things that I'm passionate about, I should say, is aging gracefully, um, is maintaining our ability to play um, for a very long time, to square the curve, if you will. When we look at the research, at least in terms of what we know now from a movement perspective, there are, are two movements that are associated with longevity, at least that uh, I'm aware of. And we can think of a lot of things that we know that you know young people do that older people tend not to do. Um, but there's two that stand out, at least in the research, uh, as being movements that we tend to see less of in people as they get older. Uh, one is obvious, it's the deep squat. The other is, interestingly, uh, bending um, at the hips, hinging at the hips, bending at the waist. So two things that I like to include on a daily basis are weighted movements of both of those patterns. So I've got um, a 16K or 35 pound um, kettlebell, so I'll come into a uh, deep squat position with the bell. I think weighting these patterns is a nice way to gain a little advantage in terms of a little extra flexibility mobility because we're assisting gravity with the load naturally uh, and also from a strength perspective. Um, so I'll spend 30 seconds or so in this position and then um, the other is simply a hinge at the hips. So we'll weight this as well. Um, and you know, I think we all are familiar with, right, just, just bending over and hanging, which is a nice way to stretch out and lengthen the entire posterior chain. But if we weight it, uh, we add a whole different element to it, which is really positive, um, because we're essentially strengthening and lengthening that backside. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll keep the knees fairly straight, make sure to hinge try to keep the, the low back and some integrity there and just start to lengthen and then grabbing the bell, the dumbbell or anything will work. Um, let's try to straighten the knees and just hang here for 20 or 30 seconds and really load up that entire back side of the body. This is strengthening and lengthening, right? Mobility, active or dynamic stretching, if you will, right? So again, take the bell, come down into that deep squat position, play around a little bit with how far you want your feet to separate. I like to get the elbows right between the knees, right? And then, go right into sort of hinging at the hip and just hanging. And of course my thought process is if I do this, these two movements every day, or most days, six out of seven, then I'll be able to keep them the rest of my days. Right. Give it a try.